see what's going on. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Bunch of misfits. <coughs> They're all gonna die of the cold. Ammonia. Here, yeah, you take this. I can't use it and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. All right, what are we gonna go kill? Oh, why can't I have harvested those wolves we killed earlier? How are you holding up, Charles? Oh, damn it. Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can get. Hated that. I hunt, y'all. I just. I hate making animals suffer. Not something I was. Not something I was trained to do. Trying tot, whatever you want to call it. I hate making animals suffer. You're not supposed to do that. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. I wonder if she's working with the other gang. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Is that a bear? Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. I want to kill it. <laughs> Come here. Off the trail. That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? Should we do it, guys? What are you doing? Get him! Let's go! Get a move on! 
am I shooting at? I'm shooting at this damn bear. I don't have a shotgun. There we go. Where'd the bear go? Bummer! God dang it. Well, I don't got a lifetime. These deer look so frozen. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you gents later. <laughs> see, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Why do I get the one on the frickin' floor? Oh my god. This game is like... Okay, well, he's making it look a lot easier than skinning than it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. It's not that easy. Yeah, we said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Damn. If anything, that is going to bring the bear here. You have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Yeah, you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, <laughs> railway man. <camp. laughs> Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? 
Sounds like he has more than enough to share. That's... Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Alright. Let's rob a damn train, y'all. It's funny that way back then that that little, like, bandana covered their face was good enough. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Oh, my pathetic. I didn't do a thing. Here we go, here we go. Hey, down here. I'm slipping. Pull me up. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Papa, help me. Oh damn! Oh, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Oh damn! That was easy. Really now? Come on, move. Shouldn't we push up? All right, you know what? I ain't make Oh damn Who the hell are you? Oh, it's the conductor. Oh, wow. Like, I don't know how to stop the train. Watch them be guarding nothing. We need to find the back, right? Yep. Keep pushing on them. Oh, man, you know what they came for? Still okay? I think so. Good. Who the hell is...
why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Arthur, get over here. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corp. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Oh, my God. Unless you've got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. <laughs> Let's go see what's in the. Why does everyone keep pushing me? Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Guys, I'd read you these notes. Not embarrassed to say it. Get in there. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not reading the notes. Never mind. I was gonna say <laughs> these notes are. I can't read the notes, but I didn't think the notes were that long. Notes are long. Shit! Just a pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports no, from the Spanish West Indies. Some. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. I don't think any of you are nice. from what you talked Thank about. God. Come on. You know what? I need some money. And I'm dang sure gonna make sure I get him. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. All right, y'all. You getting? Okay. Get on the train, quick. I was like, getting on the train. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. 
So behave. Come on, move. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Come on. <laughs> Get your ass in the butt train, damn it. Well, they're gonna die. Unless they somehow manage to jump off the boat, the boat, the train without dying, which I think would be kind of difficult to do. And if it seems like it's not jumping right to the next scene, like I'm not, like, I didn't load them into the train and then leave to do the train, take the train off, it's because I cut it off because I'm looting everybody. And I don't want you guys to watch that. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. up ahead make sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey i don't know if you guys caught it the first time when i was talking there's supposedly 60 hours plus to this game there was 65 hours for certain to complete just the campaign and they cut down five hours of it so there's 60 accounted hours now that's just if you do the complaint campaign you don't uh, loot anything, you don't do anything side missions, that's just plain, like, pure campaign. That's good, I can see it, I mean, <laughs> I'll probably cut most of this for you guys, I don't know, I'm talking as I'm going for it right now. There's a lot of driving in this game. I hope there's a fast travel. Cause damn. There needs to be, like, uh... A set button for like driving, cause my <laughs> I'm getting tired of holding this damn button. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it. Properly. Oh damn. Wow. Chapter 2. Alright, y'all, we made it back to camp. That's gonna have to do it for today. If you liked the video, please smash that thumbs up for me. Be ready for number 2. If you want to see me do everything with no cutscenes and whatnot, follow me on Twitch. I will do Twitch on the weekends at twitch.tv slash wolfgalaxygaming. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Yeah. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. 